Hello and welcome to this week's Excel tutorial. Um, in this episode, we are going to talk about how to create a spreadsheet that can track and visualize your portfolio. The finished um, spreadsheet should look something like this. And in a second part, we will go over how to easily track the portfolio with a little VBA script. So by just one press of a button, you get the current date, you get the value and the change but that is due for a second part. In this part, we will just be looking over the basic beta, uh, data spreadsheet and some little, uh, some little visualiza visualization. So let's jump into it. I've prepared the following portfolio. Um, you can obviously include as many um, assets as you would like, but all of these are hard coded. If you have a lot of single stocks, you would have to look for in which um, index your single stock is um, inherited. So for example, Alphabet stock would be in the US stock index and Alibaba, for example, would be part of emerging market stocks. As uh, this is all hard coded, we will just go over the, the calculations and the profit we get by having the current price and divided by the past price. So the average buy-in price that we paid for the assets and um, we take that minus one. In this case, I already have the percentage. If you don't, um, if you have a general number, for example, um, I'm sure most of you are familiar with it. Just go over the home tab and then to uh, percentage. The total profit um, is current price times number of assets minus average buy-in price times number of assets, right? Oh, and we can also drag it down, of course. The current value, pretty straightforward, is just the current price times the number of shares we own. And the weights can be calculated once we have the sum of, sorry, sum of the current value of all assets. So the current value of the portfolio, so to say and the weight of the specific asset is just um, the current value divided by the value of the portfolio. Oop. I did not fix that. Whoops, sorry, wrong button. There we go. In order to check whether the weights are correct, um, everything in sum should be equal to one or 100%. This is the case, so everything's fine. Um, let's though have it a bit more um, appealing to the eye. So let's have it like this. So we indicate the higher the weight of the specific asset um, the worse. I mean, you could you could do it in various different ways. Um, I like to do it like that or like that because now it indicates if a, if an asset is getting to um, a too high of a weight in the overall portfolio, I would like to, for example, reallocate some of the resources, some of the funds to other assets. But that's totally up to you. Profit, we will... Um, or we should rather have it like that. We will also conditionally format it. So if it's greater than zero, it is positive and therefore we would like to indicate it with green text. And if it is negative, so less than zero, we would like to have it indicated in red. So now we see um, if we have made or lost money with an asset. Um, what's left to do for us now is um, visualize uh, visualize the, the portfolio. And what I like to do is have the diversification visualized. And we would do that on Mac, for example, by going over the asset classes and holding the command button and going over the weights. Then go to insert, recommended charts and a pie chart seems fine. We will change the appearance in just a bit. Not that important though. Um, just to to make it 
a little more appealing. Um, what I also like to have is the asset name and whether I've made profit or not. Same deal. <clears throat> we select the assets, hold the command button uh, button down and go over the total profit, insert, recommended charts. And in this case, I'd like to have to, a bar chart. In case you don't know, if you want to add the percentages, which I usually like, you could either do it by one of the uh, prepared charts or you can go to add chart element, um, add data label, and then whatever you like. So maybe best fit. How about that? Looks pretty fine. Um, let's have this one indicated in a something, something more appealing too. That looks good. You could also um, spend a little more time to make it look very appealing, but I don't think that's uh, too necessary for, for now. Um, I hope this is uh, as a very simple tutorial helped you to um, gather some information in Excel about your portfolio. And in the next episode, I'll help you track the portfolio easily.